Carolina Highway 150. Arrived. And here we are. Here we are. RV Resort. RVs with tow, late arrival, visitor checking in. Should be right up here. Trek. I'm Grayton. I'm Lisa. This is Ty Baby down there and Kata. We're getting ready to do a review of, well I know we in the past we've done reviews of campgrounds. We're going to change it up a little bit this time. Um, we want to review the area because when we came to this campground, well, well I, book, I booked this campground because every year we go to the Carolina Renaissance Festival which is in Huntersville. Yeah. And I booked this particular campground. This is Lake Norman. It's on Lake Norman, which is absolutely beautiful. But it's an RV park uh, that's within, you know, a 30 minute to 40 minute drive to the Renaissance Festival. So we did that yesterday and had a had a ball. So We always enjoy it. I agree. I think for this one, <coughs> it need, we need to talk about and maybe rate the convenience of the park. You're only 20 minutes probably, probably from Charlotte. The area around here is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The rolling hills, and there's some really expensive houses in this area. Well, and Lake Norman is the largest lake in North Carolina as well. So, I mean, especially in the summertime because you've got access to boats and uh, paddle boards, and there's a, a, there's a some floating RV piers here. bar downstairs. So yeah, I think if very you nice. didn't have water access, we live on the water, so that's not a big deal for us because we have that every day. But for convenience, this is definitely, I would say, five, what, what do you, what do you baby say? For convenience. For convenience. Convenience. What do you say? Five barks? <laughs> it is. Um, as far as the beauty of the surrounding area, uh, you know, I'd give it five barks. Too. I'd give it five barks, too. What do Absolutely. you babies think? Five barks? <laughs> five barks. Now, uh, one thing we want to mention if you if any of you guys ever come here you better not bring a big trailer because the way these things are angled in here you are not going to be able to get a third it's going to be really hard to get a 30-foot camper uh, parked in this place well part of the issue is that we are surrounded by uh, mega fifth wheels these these campers here are huge and so you don't have a lot of room I think a lot of these people must stay or work in the area and predominantly don't don't leave that often so the guy next door is struggling trying to get his camper it looks out. like he's got about a 30 footer and he had to pull it all the way down to the end and he might have to back all the way out it's so it's gonna be tough for a large trailer i can tell you that's a consideration too and the, the great thing about our 22 foot airstream is that we can basically take it anywhere we need to just like last weekend we went to a place that you will not find on the map anywhere. It's Basically, we were able to secret camp. Secret location. Of secret camp location. But the beauty of it, we were able to actually go to our friend's house. They had a party. They're campers, lifelong campers. And we were able to bring our Airstream and spend the night. So we had a great time there. So our shout out to our friends, Mike and Lori, for having a great time last weekend. Clendenin. Clendenin. Yes. Camp Clendenin. Yep. <laughs> And this week again, we're we're having a ball, Renaissance Festival, having a great time at Lake Norman. Uh, it's a long trip here from where we live. We live out on the coast, and it is a long drive. But um, this uh, campground served its purpose. It was convenient to what we wanted to do. Um, it's clean. It's very quiet, and yeah. there's not much, not many. I don't see hardly any children here or no anyone. Activity, no very no. little activity. Well, it's also the time of year. It is November, but it's full, and it's you still full. don't see any activity. No, no activity. So it's very quiet from that perspective. And and when we're in our when we're in our little airstream, I mean, we're we just love it. You know, yeah. self-contained. It's just a great getaway. So yeah, well, I guess we'll go ahead and do the the final rating for this campground is. I'd go with a for convenience five barks, and maybe for general appearance we'll give it four maybe yeah i think so 
and uh, just don't mean? don't bring any again don't bring any big uh, fifth wheels here or large campers you're gonna they're have already trouble. here <laughs> they're, they're already, already here, here. <laughs> yes. see you can see the guy behind me he's pulling out and you can see he, he's having to back it he has now. to he's having to back <laughs> all the way oh out my you can God. see it Whoa. from that's how difficult it would be for a large camper Glad all we right don't have that problem yes we don't we're not gonna have that problem all right well that that does it for this episode of RV Trek and our next excursion is Emerald Isle. Yeah, that, so that, that, we, we're very familiar with park. that one. Holiday Travel Park. We're very familiar with that area. We love it. So we'll see you guys. <coughs> and Katie says goodbye. <coughs> <laughs>